Hi there. Welcome back to Sunnyside Journals. My name's Catherine, and I'm just going to do a quick little video this morning um, to talk about my Etsy shop reopening. Uh, as some of you have been uh, very patiently asking me, my shop has been on holiday hold for July and August, and obviously now part, a little bit of September. Uh, we get a very short period of beautiful summer weather here in Canada and um, my husband and I have been running off and camping we have a little trailer and I felt that it was easier to put my shop on holiday hold uh, rather than worry about uh, providing poor service in case I was I got an order from the shop and I was up in the woods roasting marshmallows over a campfire it seemed uh, smarter to put it on holiday hold and then when I was ready reopen it and uh, and hopefully uh, anyone who's interested in some of the journals that I've been making over the summer can go ahead and uh, order one. Uh, so uh, I will be reopening my shop on Wednesday, September 25th, at some point in the morning, probably around 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time in the morning. And uh, so I wanted, because I was closed for so long, uh, I wanted to um, offer a little thank you gift to the first five people who place an order in my shop. And the way I will do it is I have five uh, of my journals that I've made. And for the first five orders, you will get one of these journals in addition to the journal that you have uh, chosen to purchase. And the way it will work is the first person who places an order, I'll message you and say, which one of these five journals would you like? And you can choose which one you like. Say you wanted this one, that would go to you. And then when the second order comes in, again, I will message you and say, thank you for being the second order after I've reopened my shop. Which one of these four journals would you like? And you will choose the one you like. Down to three. The next order comes in. I will say thank you for being the third order. <laughs> and so on. Hopefully you get, uh, you get the point. So I want to quickly go through, just very, very quickly, go through each journal that's being offered as my thank you to you for placing an order with Sunnyside Journals. Uh, like a, a welcome back and a thank you for showing uh, that you enjoy what I, the art that I create. So this one is a ring binder journal and it's been created from a children's board book and it is a Winnie the Pooh book called Piglet is Entirely Surrounded by Water. These are lovely books because the pages are all interchangeable. You can really personalize it. You can take out any pages you don't enjoy. You can put in pages you do enjoy because these rings can be opened. And you, all you have to do is punch holes and put in your new papers, take out papers. Everything in this journal is from repurposed sources. The rings are from repurposed sources, the eyelets, I have not purchased anything brand new in this book. It is all a lovely, uh, environmentally friendly book because uh, I made something beautiful out of something that normally would have gone into either the recycling or possibly landfill. And it's not. It's beautiful art. So here we go. It You'll see, um, again, very quickly, I'm only going to show a few pages. There's a teeny tiny little bit of a theme of bears and pigs. Uh, and it's quite sweet. So there's a few journal cards, not a lot, but there are a few journaling cards that I've created and uh, pages from Winnie the Pooh books, index cards, of course. <laughs> pigs, you'll, you're going to find pigs in here. You're going to find, uh, there's another mama pig with her babies. This book would be lovely for anyone who's got a new baby and wants to create an unusual memory book for their baby or their child. And it's unisex. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's just meant for a baby or anyone, but it would be lovely for a baby, is my point. Uh, lots of trims. Lots of bears in this book. Lots of laces. So it's, uh, 
it's a very, very cute book. Um, lots of pages in this book. And it, as I said, you can add to it. You can see there's a lot more room still left to go. It has grow room. I love a journal that has grow room that you aren't constricted by how many pages you've used up. So that will be one of the journals being offered. The second one is a, um, it's an older crafting book that I found. This is quite a popular series, the Learn How books. And I just, I love the colors on this book, turquoise and red. I hope it, I hope that's showing up on your camera because this is a beautiful turquoise, bright, uh, bright turquoise. And I've made it into a uh, sort of like a traveler's notebook in a no sew version. And uh, I've refortified the cover so that it's nice and strong. I've put in tuck spots and added a few extra tuckies. And uh, some of the interior is actually from the book, the no so the um, Learn How book. And some of the um, ephemera is from a 1954 work basket book. Let me move that up there. So you'll see. And because it's been made like a... Uh, sort of a blend of a traveler's notebook and a no so journal the pages are removable and you can work on them and put them back in you can put them back in in any order you like when it's full you can just completely take them out and put your own new papers in so there are two signatures in this book and then there's a main cover for the two signatures but you can put as many as you like in and there's a little tuck spot back here um, with a clothing label and it seems to have a little theme of sewing and crafting and uh, a few little tucky things. So that is the second book. I made some little beads on the string. I put some little beads on the string. Here is um, the third junk journal that's being offered as a thank you to one of the first five customers. Uh, it is a, um, a very old, but I don't know the copyright date, uh, Rand McNally Jr. Elf book called Little Duckling. I only had the cover to work from with this, and uh, the little church rummage sale that I love going to was going to throw it in the garbage, and this cover was so beautiful, I couldn't bear to let them do it, <laughs> so I took it. So it's got one signature in it that I have recreated from other duck sources. <laughs> And uh, I've sewn, hand sewn it in, and there are buttons along the spine, vintage buttons. Everything repurposed, everything, even right down to the little jingle journal. It's a journal alarm bell, journal snoop alarm bell. So if anyone's snooping in your journal, you'll hear them. <laughs> we'll take a quick look inside. It's just got some really cute paper, little, uh, little clothes peg, even that's from a thrifted source. This is all rethrifted except for ink and glue, as ever. So a little belly band with a little journaling card. There's lots of fun things in here that I've made. Lots of journaling space. That sort of turns so you can journal and then you can hide your journaling. So you'll see there's just lots of, uh, lots of ducks in here. This is an old, um, an old birthday card that now has a belly band and, of course, an index card, a bookmark, old laces, more journaling spaces, tuck spaces with index cards. So, not a cute, uh, this sort of an upper tuck spot with a little card. So, Little Duckling will be one of the five journals available. This is another traveler's notebook that I've made from a 1950, oh, let me find out. It's in here. It's a 1957 um, paperback book that was uh, on how to make cocktails. So it's got two signatures in it on elastics. The spine has been reinforced. It's been relined with vintage ledger paper. I've made some pockets. I did take some liberty to um, embellish the inside, but you can always, anyone who's crafty you know, can cover all this up with your own artwork that you wish to use. I've added a few little journaling cards that have a food and drink theme here, pizza and wine. <laughs> Who wouldn't enjoy pizza and wine? <laughs> and 
some little tickets. And again, now these two um, these two signatures that will come included are hand sewn, but you can continue to use this as a no sew journal. You can just put folded paper into it when you if you've used up all these. You can put uh, simply put folded paper in, or you can make your own hand sewn journal. It's it's not uh, it's not very hard. There are a few pages from the original book. There are a few fun things that have to do with um, wine or beer or cocktails and some recipes here and there from the original book. So this is, again, a cute little book. It would fit nicely into a purse for someone who likes to take a little journal with them if they're going places or into a backpack. Uh, this is quite unisex. I think a, uh, a gentleman or a lady uh, would enjoy using that book. And this book as well. This is one of my favorite books that I've ever made, and I want to do, I want to use it as a thank you for an, for who makes uh, a purchase when I reopen my shop. This is uh, this book is the Book of Words, and it was published in 1924, so it's almost 100 years old. I reinforced the spine and made it strong again, and I've turned it into a no sew journal. I've put some metal beads on the end. For fun, I decoupaged a house wren onto the cover, and then the inside I have lined with this is from a book that was about the history of Westminster Abbey, and this is actually a medieval map of the grounds around Westminster Abbey. This is the signature of the person who at some point owned this book, uh, but you can obviously cover that up if you're not comfortable knowing <laughs> that that little person's name, signature is still there. I think it's part of the charm of why we love junk journals. So that's why I made a window in the end paper when I created it. But if you don't like that, you can always put your own name on it and glue right over top and then it becomes yours. These papers are all from the original book. You can see here it says uh, Book of Words. So. I've added some botanicals here that match the fabric that I reinforced the spine with. All these papers, this is a no-sew journal again, all these papers are old. Some are vintage, some are antique, but I chose them specifically because they're quite tough. They won't crack if you bend them. Uh, they come from unusual sources. You can see there's music, there's gardening. This is from a book on opera. And again, there are some there are some pages in here from the original book of words. So it's a lovely book. Here's the first page of the original book and it actually says on the back the copyright date of 1924. So this is a, a beautiful, beautiful book for, um, for the person who receives it. It's one of my favorite books that I ever made. And again, I love this book in particular because it's reusable. Once it's full, you don't have to put it aside and be sad that it's over. It, um, it can keep going for you. And uh, I certainly um, rebound it so that it will stand the test of time. So there you go. These are the five books that will be available for the first uh, five sales in my, uh, in my Etsy shop. I will post the link down below. Uh, I hope that you'll go over and take a look and see what journals I've been working on this summer. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. I, uh, I do ship to Canada, to the United States, and I will ship overseas. Uh, message me, and uh, if you don't mind working with me while I go back and forth to the post office and such to figure out shipping, um, I'm very happy to work with any overseas orders. I will. I am the one who will be paying for the shipping for these books. This really is my gift to you. So, the you the shipping for the book that you choose, depending on Canada and the U.S., the shipping will be free. Overseas, I'm not sure I can promise that because I really do not know what the cost will be. I know for Canada and the U.S., but overseas, if you're willing to be patient and work with me, I'm willing to work with you. <laughs> so thanks again. Thank you for uh, taking the time to uh, stop by today, and I hope uh, on Wednesday, September 25th, I will be posting on my Instagram, and I will probably also um, rerun a similar short little video like this uh, the day before on the Tuesday uh, to remind people. 
Um, and I hope you'll go take a look and hopefully maybe place an order if you've seen a book that I've been working on and you're thinking you want to make that book your own. I want you to make that book your own because that's why I make them. I love making beautiful books out of old books and sending them out so that other people can enjoy them. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.